cute anime figure show. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Cute Anime Figure Show. I'm your host, Craig J. Smith, and today we're still continuing on with the Sailor Moon live action uh, series, the Pretty Guardian series, and uh, today we're looking at number four in the line Sailor Jupiter. So as you can see, I have Sailor Jupiter. It was done by Bandai in 2004. As you can see. Show you the top there. And also the back. We recently looked at Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars. So we've just got one more left to look at. Then we'll look at some Gashapons in the next two following video reviews in the show. So let's actually um, move over to my review desk and take a look at Sailor Jupiter from Sailor Moon live action. Pretty Guardian. So here we are taking a look at Sailor Moon Live action. Pretty Guardians. So previously we looked at Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars from this line. And today we're looking at Sailor Jupiter which is the fourth uh, figure in the line. We still have Sailor Venus to look at of these figures. As well as a Gashapon of uh, Sailor Venus in this live action series. So, anyway, um, it's made by Bandai in 2004, and let's take a look at the packaging. So, first off, it's pretty much the same, similar style as all the other packaging of the figure. See the Bandai logo there, you can see the logo for. The um, Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian series, and as you can see, it's got a nice picture of the actress um, who plays Sailor Jupiter in the series. You can see no. Just zoom out. There we go. Not too far. So once again, the outside it's just the same, and on the other side, as well as underneath, it's just the same. Also on the top, it says uh, collection number four, and on the back, it's pretty much the same of the other girls, and also it's in green as well. But all the display stands are the same. Also has the symbol for Sailor Jupiter on there. So let's actually open up the figure take a look at Sailor Jupiter. So but um, so far we've got one more to look at so that's pretty cool. So let's actually take the contents out. Here we have the figure. What else we got in here? We got the instruction manual. We've also got. Uh, let's actually get these out. We've actually got sweets. 
yeah, candy. Um, just as some advice to anyone who actually gets a hold of these figures, do not eat the candy. Um, I know it's sealed, but just some friendly advice, do not eat it. Um, same with the other previous figures in this line. I've never eaten these. So it will go back in the box. But anyway, it does include... Let's get it. One hand. It does include a instruction book how to put the figure together. So yes, it's very simple and easy to do. So we'll leave that to the side. The box in the background here. And this is the figure. Wow. Really impressive. Really impressive. So let's actually uh, open it up. So I've got a pair of scissors here to open up the bag so we can actually get everything out here. stand first as you can see it has number four on there as a sailor Jupiter written on the stand which is really cool put the stand over there and also put that bag over that to the side and here's sailor Jupiter wow really beautiful really love the pose of her as you can see very nice. It's whole clean. You know, all the paint is no paint chipping or anything on these figures. Just so clean and crisp. And now you can see the holes in there in the feet. So yeah, really love the details on there. Figure. You can actually see the tiara there. All the detailing. So let's actually get the case here, close up, yes she actually looks like her uh, on screen counterpart as you can see, kind of reminiscent of the f actress who plays Sailor Jupiter in the series, really good, so let's actually open up the um, stand and actually put it together. Then we'll do a comparison with the other figures as well. We've got one more to look at, which is Sailor Venus. And then we'll look at all five figures together in that video review. So They are quite highly um, detailed and uh, they're actually not too bad um, to what some figures are. Um, some figures may look okay, but some um, might not be as detailed as others. Um, let's stand that first. You can see. It says Sailor Jupiter on there, it's got the symbol there for Sailor Jupiter. Put it there and uh, if we can Pull that stand out there, remove that. 
It's going to be very easy and simple to put the figure together. Um, I've had no difficulties of getting them out of the packaging and putting them out on the stand. Um, it's actually quite easy to uh, follow on the instructions. As you can see, this is on a, like a ball joint. So you can actually angle it if you want to. Um, so what we're going to do is actually line it up. Um, yeah, it should be really simple and easy. So let's just line this up here. Line this peg first, and then the other two. Like that. Don't forget this um, tray thing here. Don't forget that as well. So it's only for a support stand. That's what it is. Um, It's just line it up. So that's what the stand is for, it's for support um, for the figure. Okay, I think it seems perfect. So I've got to actually uh, find the switch to, in fact I'm going to rotate this, so um, let's just zoom out a little bit so we've got some room there, so switch on this side now so at least I've got some room to uh, put the others so. so here's a 360 uh, look at the figure closer look Zoom in. Really good details on the outfit, which is cool, really nice. So all of the stands are the same, um, for all the figures. So um, right now we're going to do a comparison. So. The Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mars. I actually put Sailor Mars there. Um, here's Sailor Mercury, and here is uh, Sailor Moon. So. Now it's kind of a tight fitting on here. As you can see, all nearly all five of the girls. So there's four of them there, and all of the detail is very beautiful, really well done. Um, so thinking of Venus, I probably will um, remove this um, display tent table. For her, um, some point in the video review, but anyway, uh, quite good set of figures. Um, so, quite a good set. So, 
So let's actually t get to turn them around so you can actually see them all in their glor glory. You can see it kind of comes off me display thing, but all of them there, all together, look really fantastic. All four of them there. There's absolutely a wonderful uh, detail about them. Um, um, very high quality. Because um, I know some figures were they look okay, but some can be lacking uh, in detail. Some details are okay, but some might need a little bit more. Um, but on these, they're just perfect. Um, perfect figures all around. And I definitely recommend picking these up, as I said, um, like I did. Because um, once, you once you've got one, you'll want the rest of them. And they all look fantastic on display together. So, um, yeah, let's actually put these others off screen here so we can actually get to the final thoughts of this figure. Then, in the next video review, I'll do the final thoughts on all of them. So, you'll actually get to see all of the figures uh, together. So, I'll do my final thoughts on all of them. all the um, plastic and stuff back in here in case no. all the wrapping so um, yeah Sailor Jupiter really cool figure let's actually get a lined up here um, with a photo there So, final thoughts on Sailor Jupiter from the Sailor Moon uh, live action Pretty Guardian series, and this is number four in the collection, made by Bandai in 2004. Uh, absolutely wonderful detail, very cute and adorable. Um, the outfits are very well done. Um, very representing of the characters and the actresses that um, played the characters in the series. Um, absolutely wonderful. I definitely recommend picking up all five of them. Um, definitely worth it. Um, it's definitely worth picking up any of them. Um, you know, if you can't even find Sailor Moon herself definitely worth picking up uh, Sailor Jupiter or Sailor Mars or Sailor Mercury definitely worth uh, picking up so yeah until next time everybody um, thanks so much for watching see you very soon for the last video review for this series and also we've got two Gashapons to look at next and then finally we've got uh, another figure arts in the works so Look forward to seeing another figure arts review. And um, overall, I just love all five of these figures. I think they're perfect, they're great to have for a Sailor Moon collection. And uh, like I said before, I'll see you soon in the next video review. And uh, yeah, arigato and sayonara. Until next time, see you soon.